In this video we will show you the full functionality of the builder section. We will add several builders with the content blocks to make the demonstration even more detailed. Let's start with the first builder section and give it the title Our Builder. Here we can change the content width from full to boxed. The size of the columns will be two items in the row, both for desktop and mobile view. We don't need to apply any other settings here, so we'll proceed with adding a first content block, which is from a box banner. We'll add a URL for it, select an image and add the text line, for example, man's. Then change the text colorized style to the style hashtag 3. In the button text line, we'll write discover more and select the URL for the button. Then we'll change the layout type to the type hashtag 2 v1 text below the image and add an animation. We want it to be moved to the center when being hovered over. This is what we have got. In the same way, we'll add another Prama box. Here it is. We want to change the position of the second Prama box, so simply drag it on the first place. Now let's also check our Prama boxes on mobile view. You see, they show two items in the row as well. In each Prama box, you can change the horizontal position for the mobile image using the scale. We decrease it to 39% for the first Prama box and set 42% for the second one. It looks much better now. You can also decide the mobile content precedence in the Builder section. Type the number of each Brahma box using separator and here are our changes. Now we'll add another builder section and entitle it Builder for the Slick Slider. Then add Slick Slider as a content block. We'll change the height to auto adaptation to the image, tick arrows and disable bullets and also reduce the speed to 5 seconds. Then we can add two slides for slick blocks. We'll choose the URL and image for the first slide for slick. Now we want to change the layout type to type hashtag 1v12 and add some text lines. For example, limited time online only for the first text line, final clearance for the second one and take 20% of must-haves for the last one. The text colorized style will be style hashtag 5. We will also add the text for the button, choose the URL for it and change the button style to invert. Let's also change the content position on the desktop to move the content to the button and center. Now we want to add another slide for slick and it will be a video. We just paste the URL for it and it's already here. We'll keep the video autoplay enabled and leave disabled the video controls. Let's add another Builder section and give it a title Builder for the Revolution Slider. We don't apply any other changes here, so now we add a content block Revolution Slider. Here we will increase the image height size to 1000 pixels and enable arrows. We will also change the delay appearance to 3 seconds. Now we need to add two block slides for Revolution. Choose the URL for them and add an image. We will leave the type clean image without text. Basically, everything here works the same way as in the slick slider. You can change the image size, add some text lines or buttons and change the type of the layout. We will add another builder section with an Instagram and add three Instagram blocks. The Instagram block allows you to add the Instagram images manually. For the first block, we'll add an image and a URL to the image. 
Here you can change the number of likes and comments to the ones you need. We'll add two more blocks in the same way. Now let's go to the Instagram and apply our changes. In this block you can enable the option show post details. It allows one to see the number of likes and comments of the posts. Let's change the number of images in the row. We want it to be three items in the row. We'll also disable the paddings. Change the image height if such need arises. Now let's add the last builder section. We'll move the content to the second place. And add two content blocks. The first block will be a product column. We'll give it the title must haves and select the collection. The maximum products in the column will be two items. The size of the column one and a half from the line. The last content block that we want to add is custom HTML. Here we can select a page, for example, about our store and change the column size. And this is what we have got. Let's save our changes and check how all our builders look on the full screen. Here is the first builder section with two Prama boxes, the second with a product column and a page content, the third one with a slick slider, the fourth Prama box with a revolution slider, and the last builder with an Instagram block. That's it! Thank you for being with the Shadow Shopify team.